the Nigerian First Lady, Remy Tinumbu, has sparked a discussion on social media, particularly Instagram, following a cautionary message to young Nigerian women regarding dressing modestly. In a recent video, Remy Tinumbu expressed her concerns about the impact of indecent dressing on young girls in the country, emphasizing that Nigeria will not endorse uh, programs that promote such attire. She further stated that a nudity should not be equated with beauty and advocated against its acceptance in society. While some individuals resonated with Remy Tinumbu's stance, many others expressed dissent and critiqued her statement, showcasing the diverse reactions on her message. Yes, at B said, This is your daughter, ma. Teach your daughter before you teach other people's daughters. I uh, received just to fool this letter. You will talk anyhow, and men will pull out your receipts. Remy, whose daughter is this? Can you look at yourself in the mirror for once? Since her daughter doesn't even want to heed private advice, she took her matter to the public. A smart mother. Hmm. Well, I don't know whether they saw a picture of her daughter because I've not even seen any of his children. Uh, Carly said that the first lady is absolutely right. A young Nigerian girls should be embracing their dignity and cultural values, not emulating Western celebrities' absurd standards. The obsession with such displays is uh, degrading and undermines the true essence of beauty. It is high time we reject these shallow ideas and promote a more respectful and meaningful representation of ourselves. I like how a lot of people are in support of her statement regardless of the distrust they have towards her or her husband. We are absolutely delighted that uh, you have joined us to read uh, this oath thing. We'll be delighted to hear your thoughts. So please, don't hesitate to share all of those things. Yeah, and spread the good news. But some people are like, you know what? Mm -mm. You cannot be talking uh, about other people. He who wants to come to, you know, um, how do they put it? Must come with EK, come to equity. Yes, if you really want to uh, be outstanding, then you want to talk about something. You need to look at yourself before you make mention of one thing. It's not that say, oh, you just have to. Uh, Okay, you that wants to come with clean hands must come with equity. Yes, you need to check yourself out because any little thing people just say, uh -huh, you won't talk. What of this? Have you been able to address this uh, area? And people are coming for her because of a, a lot of things being said concerning her family and her husband, of course. And one thing, my own that my own uh, observation is that if she's talking about a uh, dressing and all of that, is it not those who are alive? Uh, she ever spoken because from what I got, the feeler I got from her when she was a, and I've said this times with her number, when she was a, a senator on the floor of the Senate, a member of her party, when Buhari was there, they all kept quiet with all the things being done to women, children, and girls. This woman never got up. And we have a lot of women in the, in the house, of, uh, you know, on the floor of the house. They never said anything. Concerning how these uh, uh, these uh, people were, you know, messing up uh, women, taking a uh, kind of knowledge of them, she never said anything. Even when a man deemed it fit to talk about it, she wasn't concerned. And I said this one, and wants to be the first lady. Now she's talking, and she's trying to carry herself with uh, some sort of class. With me, with me, with me, I don't uh, respect such people. They were supposed to be advocates of a women. We are talking of dressing. What of all those people that they have messed up their their their, their lives? All this a full and investment that people were talking about. Did she raise any objection? Did she say anything? No, she didn't say anything. Rather, she was even castigating a man who stood up talking about how women and girls and old elderlies were being, you know, molested in their farms, on the road and in their houses. And she was Ah, I just say, yeah, since that time, I just say, no, 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 this one, this one, mm -mm. I don't even trust such people. So now she's talking, and I remember people were saying, oh, she was even trying to refer to 
Megan the way she dressed when she came. That is even by the wayside. But the issue is that he that must come with clean hands must come with a equity. Mm. You know what we are going through today? What's about corruption? These people they always try to jump on other things that people are doing. Just like a this they, they were talking about a people carrying drugs, the punishment that should be meted to them. And people are saying, What about the politicians who are looting left, right, and center without even control? No. They say no, it is not a it's not good for those ones because they know they are involved. What about corruption? What about a nepotism? What about a um inequality? What have they done about that? Nigerians I cannot even feed them. It's ordinary to even make people's uh, life better. No, they can't even do it. Now we we have been exposed. They really, really been exposed. Have they actually exhibited or been a worthy of example with series of corruption around their necks? Getting into position was not worthy of emulating. Yeah. Tell your husband to repair the economy, not dressing. Even the fraudulent children. Why wasting your time? Why wasting your time? Uluremi should have allowed the sleeping dog to lie. <laughs> See, the sleeping dog wake up and run inside and bite you now. The one where they bite you. No, the one where they bite you, so have they not allowed a, 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 a dog to wake up and start running and, you know, eating up people? Let us keep on praying for them. One day, they will change. In prayer and action are the keys. Well said. Let him or her who have yes, let him hear. Thank you, ma, for your advice. This education or cancer is the best. Dress the way you want to be addressed. Uh, university is the worst. Let the first lady take this all to the all university. <laughs> must corruption? They must. Ash, they must say uh, attach corruption to it too. Mm. All the these ladies wearing almost nothing to cover their body are very difficult to correct. That is what they do to make their living. Even some sell their souls to the devil and blessed Satan's money. It is even like. It was not even like this so up to the late nineties. Everything must be put together. And those who are dressing, mm -hmm. of course she has said her own. And other people still have to advise her too. Everybody they advise everybody. See no those why they advise uh, people and people too they will get the way they go to advice and I they know that they talk about uh, this corruption of a thing. Is it a crime to address the public on immorality? Hello, what are you saying? Is that the problem right now? She's talking as if uh, Nigeria is better. She doesn't have anything to talk about right now. There is hunger everywhere in Nigeria. She can't even address that. That one. Even talk to her husband. Nigerians can no longer avoid tomatoes and paper. Can you just imagine? This thing is getting serious. In the market now, it is how to dress when you are in Senate. Why can't you move the motion? Then she no want her daughter, your lodger, to be in shortage. I agree with Ah, perfectly well she has made her points let's know what you think about those who are talking about uh, the husband's uh, corruption here and there and the kind of their lifestyle and the type of governance they have dished out and they are still dishing out to nigerians